What's good guys? It is Wang Ye from Epic CW and today we are here with the Arma Granite Voltage and we have a special plan lined up for today's video but first I just want to go over a couple of things that I uh, got wrong in the last video that the Arma Granite Voltage was featured in in the Christmas unboxing um, video for the Arma Granite. I had said that this vehicle has oil filled shocks that is actually not the case. If we take off the body here um, and we press down, you can see there's not really any give to the springs. It's just a stiff, it's a stiff motion. It does not have oil fill shocks. I took the shock towers off um, yesterday in preparation for this video to refill the oil and it didn't have any oil in them and I couldn't take the actual cap off so I wasn't able to fill the towers with oil. Um, that being said, the other thing I have to reiterate is in the last episode, the unboxing of this car, I said that this is a discontinued RC car. Now what that means is RC cars that are discontinued typically don't have too many parts that are replaceable if you do break something on it. Um, now I'm sure I can find like, I'm sure if I broke this bumper, I can find the bumper from a different Arma, um, a different Arma model. I'm sure I could break, if I break these, uh, drive arms I could replace those easily with another model but when it comes down to a specific part I'm not sure exactly what parts on here are specific it's kind of a basic model but um, I did hear that from my my local hobby shop dealer that it is pretty difficult to find parts for discontinued RC models of which apparently the armor granite voltage is so if we break anything at the skate park today, then that is unfortunate. Because it's probably not gonna be easy to find pieces to fix. But that being said, I will meet you guys at the skate park and we will bash this thing. I got a fully charged nickel metal hydride and lipo battery. So we've got about 45, 50 minutes of runtime, enough for very good footage. And hopefully we don't break anything. So I'll meet you guys at the skate park. All right, so we made it to the skate park. Um, gonna figure out the best place to put the camera down. It's because there's a lot of ramps and stuff here. Um, honestly, there's a lot of footage that I can, that I can record here. So we'll figure that out and we will cut to that in just a second. All right, well, while we find a place to get set up, I'm gonna do a little bit of skateboarding. Uh, I don't actually skateboard, so it's gonna be really interesting. If I bust my ass, then we get some footage. We get a short, but uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go do some RC. All right, we got the light bulb battery in. We're turned on. Let's go. Oh shit.
Oh shit. All right, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and hit drive from all the way over here, drive up here, and then jump, landing in the bowl off to the left. And I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'm gonna drive the car a little bit closer, but it sounds like it's got this weird uh, cogging with the gears. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It just sounds a little bit weird, but we're gonna hit it anyway, let's go. Oh man, this is hard to keep straight. Ooh. All right, let's switch up our camera spot. All right, got a new spot. Look at this big ramp. Hold up, hold up. We got to hit this ramp full speed. Oh shit. All right. Well, it looks like that jump did it, guys. Thank you for watching. Just kidding. I will go grab that car and we will assess the damages. All right. So we have retrieved the Arma Granite voltage and we're going to pop the hood and assess the damages. Um, honestly, the body it's made from a plastic that is a little bit weaker than um, the Arma Vendetta body. Uh, it's, I think it's the polyproline. I'm not sure what it's called, but uh, it's something poly. But the body looks like it's in pretty good condition for taking maybe seven, eight, nine, ten jumps. Um, and I really don't see any damage at all with the body with the chassis um, if we look at the underside here you can kind of see right on the end where the light plastic meets the dark plastic here um, it did get a little bit scratched probably when it hit the landing on some of the jumps because this is the back of the car and it most likely would have landed and then scratched the bottom because like I had said before, these are not oil filled shocks, so they don't dampen as much energy as the regular oil filled shocks would. These are just shock towers. Um, but the front bumper kind of got carved up a little bit. I don't see a lot of damage to the actual chassis though. However, does not work and the reason for that if we take a look in the back here on this side you see that there's a metal bar going into the back motor and then on the other side you see that there is not one 
So when the car landed, it broke this plastic chamber here that holds this in and it disconnected from the gears. So unfortunately, um, that makes it so the car can't turn. However, or I mean the car can't move forward or back, but the car still can turn. Um, so no big damages up front, uh, but obviously we broke the drive shaft in the back. So unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to run the car for the rest of the day until we get that piece fixed. But uh, it does look like it's an easy fix for the most part. I'll get that piece and you will definitely see this car in the future. But until then, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a like. This is Wanye from Epic CW and we out.